Hello and welcome back. This time we're going to deal with something that's called amortization. And I'm sure you've all heard of it if you've been to class. If you haven't, it's pretty simple. It's just a loan that's repaid in equal payments over life. So as soon as you heard equal payments, you must be thinking about that PMT annuity. Yeah, it's pretty similar. Um, you're just basically paying off a loan like an annuity. Um, a very important application of compound interest um, you know, is is uh, amortization. It's loans that are paid off in installments over time. So automobile loans, home mortgage loans, student loans, business loans, um, you know, a loan that's going to be repaid in equal amounts on a monthly basis, a quarterly basis, an annual basis, those are all called amortized loans. Now, let's, I mean, first of all, you must have noticed over here that um, mort, right, is, uh, I've actually forgotten, maybe it's Latin? I think it's Latin for death. And that's the idea over here. Uh, the idea over here is that um, the loan is dying as you pay it off. So hopefully by the very end, uh, your final balance on this loan, once it's been amortized, is going to be zero. Um, <clears throat> so that's just a cool thing about the word itself. Uh, let's try and get into the math. Um, here we go. So let's give an example of a $100,000 uh, mortgage. Uh, so it's $100,000, uh, that's going to be considered our present value. Um, present value is $100,000 um, on a mortgage loan. And that's obviously going to be positive because that's the money coming in. It's a positive cash flow. The bank are, are leveraging this $100,000 to you. The question is how much are we going to pay back, i.e. what's our PMT going to be? So it's $100,000 on a mortgage loan. Let's say the loan is going to be repaid in, well, let's put down our variables first, PMT, I, and N. I'm going to keep it simple, keep it annual for now. Um, <clears throat> we could do a periodic problem afterwards. It's the same thing. We just have to use a little bit of conversion like we saw in the last video. Uh, but I'll show you how to do that. It's not difficult. Future value, well, zero, because we're, you know, we're going to be paying this off. Now, PMT is what we're is what we're solving here. We want to know what is going to be our payment. Let's say it goes on for five years, and the interest rate, let's say, is six percent. So all we want to do is we want to solve for PMT right now. If you want to think about this on a timeline, um, let's do it like this. It's going to be zero, one, two, three, four, and five. Um, still really hard to use this graphics tablet it's not not easy as it, it's not as easy as it looks um, zero is going to be minus oh sorry 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 that's that's actually going to be positive because the hundred thousand is coming to us um, so a hundred thousand and then we're really looking for this PMT this minus PMT these negative cash outflows um, you know all the way along until year five when eventually uh, this loan has died. So all we need to do is we need to plug it into here and let me just do that quickly on my calculator and after inserting all of those um, if you've done it correctly um, oops, why my emails are open um, um, our PMT comes out to a negative 23739 point Six four, um, so that's twenty three thousand dollars seven hundred and thirty nine. Um, sorry, twenty three thousand seven hundred thirty nine dollars and sixty four cents every year. At the end of every year, that's how much we're going to have to pay back in order to get this one hundred thousand um, dollar, one hundred thousand dollar loan debt, because uh, that's what you want. Want to kill it off. So, let's build an amortization schedule. Now that we know that our payment is twenty three seven three nine and sixty four. Let's scroll down and build for ourselves what we call an amortization schedule. So this is kind of like the next little part, amortization schedule. And it's very likely you'll be asked a question about this because it's very important. Um, and also, you'll probably be given an, an, am uh, an empty amortization schedule table to fill in. If not, hopefully you'll have practiced it enough or you'll remember this video to know the uh, column headings. Um, so it's it's actually pretty intuitive. It's year, 
Then there's going to be our beginning balance. Um, then there's going to be our PMT. And just bear with me, it will all make sense um, very, very soon. Then there's going to be I, which is interest. And then there's going to be PRIN, which is principal. And then there's going to be our ending balance. Yeah. Let's put a line across there and just extend this a little bit. So here, one, two, three, four, and five. And let's try and separate these um, so it doesn't get too messy. Um, you'll probably be given one in a table. So it won't be too bad. Um, okay, so now let's have a look. Let's go back to our problem just for a second. We said that we were borrowing a hundred thousand um, dollars. So that one hundred thousand dollars is our beginning balance. That's how much we're kind of starting off with uh, in this in this loan. And hopefully the ending balance, the end of year 5, we're going to put it in as a zero now, just so that you understand that what we're going to do is we're going to go from the beginning balance in year 1 of $100,000 to the ending balance at the end of year 5 will be zero. That's that's the idea here. We're trying to, to amortize this to to kill this $100,000 loan off. Now, the PMT, right, we know stands for payment and it is a periodic payment because it happens in of every year but it's also constant so this 2373964 is actually the same every single year um let's just write this in 396 4 23739 64 and 23739 okay so this is actually the same payment every single year and you know at the bottom um, what we can do is we can just do a little sorry a little total column here um, and obviously it's just going to be 23739 uh, six four multiplied by five payments, and that comes out to one one eight six. Let's just write it over here. One one eight six nine eight point two. Um, or rather twenty cents, and that comes out to one hundred eighteen thousand dollars six hundred ninety eight. So you can see that we started with a.